People in rural areas only need food and water. What would they use a computer for? Why study science? So many people have told me this. I refuse to believe it! <laughs> As a young girl raised in rural Guatemala, I didn't feel I was good at math or engineering. But later, and against the beliefs of traditional society, I became a chemical engineer and nanotechnology PhD. I received national awards that allowed me to participate in several events to promote science, where over 5,000 girls and women participated. Last year, Newson wrote at Microsoft created what we like to call the most sophisticated school energy management system in Central America. Why sophisticated? Well, we like to think that there are two levels of sophistication. First, the technology. Newton Road equipped the school with IoT devices and a powerful software platform that our team in the Bay has been working on for years. With this, we can provide internet and use available energy more efficiently with precise control and monitoring. This helps keep the system healthy and online so that it is continually usable for many years, even in a very remote area. Second, the education program. Using Microsoft tools, we created a digital literacy program where we taught girls and women who had never seen a computer in their life how to use the internet. So, is it true that children in rural areas don't need science and computer education? No, everyone should have access to education, connectivity and tools that can make their lives better.